Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're going to do something that I've been very excited about. And I know we're in the middle of Booker's Month. But I'm going to try not to get behind on stuff the way I did during Irish Month. So, what I have before me is Penelope Barrel Strength Batch 5 and a sample of Batch 6. Now, Full disclosure, both of these bottles were sent to me by Penelope themselves um, for me to try and review, but that will not shade my opinion. And you should know that by now about me, that I don't care. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. And uh, I will say, though, that I have purchased a bottle of Penelope Cast Strength, Barrel Strength, uh, as soon as the first one I ever saw on a shelf here in South Florida. And he's sitting over there. So, uh, we're going to compare these two. Batch 5 to Batch 6. And see what somewhere about half a year to a year of more aging has done for this whiskey. So, I'm, I'm super excited to try this. I have been excited to get my hands on a batch six. I can't wait until I get a full bottle of batch six to just add to the collection. And um, they sent me a whole flyer kind of sheet here and it has a whole overview and accolades and bourbon facts and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna go through a few of these things and, uh, and then we're gonna get right into the tasting. So the barrel strength pushes the boundaries of our signature four grain Balanced flavor profile. Now, this is sourced from MGP, but they're the only MGP sourcing company that I know of that's using four grain. Batch six is a blend from three bourbon mash bills aged from three and a half to four and a half years in new American oak and completely uncut and non chill filtered. Each barrel is hand selected and blended into a single batch in order to create this unique offering. Uh, it's 115.8 proof, 57.9% alcohol. I don't care about the accolades, so we're going to skip right past that. Uh, Bourbon Facts, it's four grain. It's three different mash bills sourced from MGP, and I love that they are putting that right on their promotional materials. I love transparency in whiskey. That I like that more than anything. I, I love it. I love it when... A whiskey maker can be completely honest about where the whiskey comes from, what they're doing to it, because I'm a whiskey geek. I love that information. I want to know that information. Knowing that you didn't distill it doesn't hurt my feelings. Stop it with all of the the obfuscation and, and, and pretending that you made the whiskey. No. Be honest, like Penelope. That's why I love these guys. All right, so it can print uh, four mash bills, corn, wheat, rye, and malt. Aged three and a half to four and a half years. Uh, the barrel char was number four staves, and number two head. Uncut, non-chill filtered. Now, I don't know that I've ever seen a company ver uh, say the difference in the stave char and the head char. Uh, maybe I've never noticed it before. But I've never seen that before. So that's super interesting. Now they have tasting notes at the bottom. And we're going to see if we pick those notes up. But first, we're going to take a peek at batch 5. Now batch 5 on the bottle here says it's aged a minimum of 36 months. So at the very least, batch 6 is a half year older. At the very least. Half year up to... A full year and a half older because it's aged three and a half to four and a half years so some of those mash bill barrels different mash bill barrels are of different ages so the oldest thing in here is four and a half now of course because of TTB laws on batch five they have to list the youngest and they're listing 36 months so it looks to me like this is about half a year, six months older whiskey, uh, which I'm super interested to see the difference a half a year makes in an aging process. Uh, that, to me, fascinating. So, let's take a nose 
on batch five, and then we'll nose batch six, and then we'll taste them both and see the differences that we see. Seriously. Wow. Batch five. Now I haven't had any of this in a little while. I'm obviously down past the shoulder. And before I was getting a very, very heavy black pepper note. And, and that's calmed down a lot, just with air getting into this whiskey. Vanilla. Nice maraschino cherry. A bit of melon. Like honeydew. A bit of honeydew melon. But mostly the rind. A bit of spearmint. A bit of maybe peppermint. Cinnamon, oak, I can tell there's wheat there, a nice little rye note, very complex, That's, I love the fact that it's four grain, it gives, it's making my mouth water, it, it gives you all those different complex notes, oh very nice, very nice, okay, love that, now, dash six. Now let's let's look at what their notes say. Their notes say rich fruit, syrup, sweetness, savory grain notes, pleasant orange peel, and citrus notes. Let's see. <laughs> they aren't wrong. I get the rich fruit. It's like wow, it's like a whole orchard of fruit. It's peach. I get a little plumminess. Maybe even a hint of pear. I get those citrus notes. I get, I can get syrupiness. There's a thick, darker note hanging out there. Of course, it's super, super sweet. But I see what they're saying about savory. I could, I can see that. And of course, there's grain notes there. I mean, we're only dealing with a you know three and a half to four and a half year old whiskey. Of course, there's going to be grain notes. I expect that. I don't even I don't even bother listing that because, to me, it's just duh. Of course, they're there. I I also am getting a bit of butterscotch, and maybe hinting towards chocolate. Okay, so. Let's taste batch five. Oh yeah, there's a significant difference between these. Oh, batch six is clearly superior. That hurts me in my heart just a little bit because I just bought another bottle of batch five, but whatever, I'll save that for the collection. Batch five is brighter, and it's funny too because I wouldn't have said that until after I tried batch six. Batch six is a clear improvement. It's darker and richer and and less sharp, less bright. Totally. Wow. Wow. Batch six. <sighs> Oddly enough, the citrus notes almost present as a Sprite, like a bottle of soda Sprite. It's, it's a slight effervescence in the nose with that nice lemon lime citrusy feel. It's, it's weird. That's really weird. Okay, let's taste batch five.
Batch 5 is amazing. Batch 5 is beautiful. It gives you... That pepper note shows up on the palate. Now, before it was showing up on the nose and the palate. Now it's it's strictly on the palate. Uh, now that it's got some air in it. Oof, that is nice. That it is... I can see the youth. The youth is there. But it's got a great complexity with being a four grain whiskey. It's all these different layers of things happening. Oh, that is nice. A gorgeous amount of oak. Very nice rye. Very nice texturing of the wheat to add an extra flavor layer. Mmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, let's try batch six. Oh, batch six. Stop it. Oh my god. I am so excited for Penelope in the future. Seriously. I am so excited for what this is going to taste like in a few more years. This, if this is three years, and this is three and a half years, What's four years going to taste like? What's five years? What's six years going to taste like? Oh my god. Love it. So happy. Oh man. As this is getting a little more air in it, those savory, sweet, fruity notes are just coming to the top. Alright. Let's taste it. Now, they say forward notes, black cherry, smoke, Savory grains, body notes, smoke transitions from the forward notes into the body, orange peel, fruit, caramel, increased oak to provide a good kick in the body. Let's see. Oh. Oh my god. Where does that smoky note come from? Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, I, you know what? After tasting it, I kind of pick up the, the, the smoky note on the nose. <sighs> wow. That's impressive. Wow. Where the heck is that smoky note coming from? Why is it there? I mean, they're not smoking anything. Dang. Wow. That's impressive. And then they, their finished notes are candied sweetness, smoke, savory grain, and great balance. Well, I gotta give it to them on the great balance. You still know it's young. Three and a half years old, four and a half years old. You still know it's a, a little bit on the young side. But that smoky note is out freaking rageous. Where is that coming from? And that note is 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 almost non-existent on batch five. You know what? I can see, like, disconnected notes that are maybe the precursor of this smoky note in the batch five. But in batch six, those notes come together and give you a, a really distinct smoky note that I've only found on, on whiskeys that actually are smoked. Like, um, the Warbringer, or the other one right back there that I can't remember the name of. Wow. 
That's impressive. I'd love to hear from Penelope where they think the smoke note is coming from. Because it really stands out. It, and, it's, and it's so funny because it's not there on the nose. It's totally there on the taste. Wow. Wow. I'm very impressed. Okay. Batch six. If you can see, if you see Penelope batch six anywhere on the shelf, grab one and then grab a spare one for me and send it to me. What? I said what I said. Anyway, wow. That's really, really impressive. The amount of difference in, in six months. Amazing difference. I can't wait to see what batch seven looks like. So if they're doing these every six months, batch seven is gonna be a full year difference from batch five. Super excited to see what that looks like. Keep up the good work, Penelope. Amazing. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, have a great day. On a side note, if you're going to try two cast strength whiskeys, don't try them after doing eight cast strength bookers. Because at this point, Pretty sure the whole world is spinning.